Good morning to you too, Conrad. Welcome back to America. How was the flight? Okay. I think airplanes are starting to lose their glamour for me. That was fast. Transatlantic is no joke. <laughs> it gets less funny by the year, trust me. So, what's the luggage situation? Under control. Wasn't in a shopping kind of mood, really. All right, that'll make things easier. Easier? I hope you're just talking about fitting everything into the car. Oh, that too, sure. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry so much. There are some things we need to go over, but that can wait until you get through customs. Just keep it short, okay? We're not in a rush, are we? Well, just get through customs first. Okay, okay, hold your horses. Celia, you got company. Look sharp. Switch to your earplug now. Excuse me, miss. Could you come with us, please? Huh? What's going on? You've been selected for a repatriation interview. This way. The hell is this? Don't panic. You were in Italy to track down Redmond on my dime, got it? What? You may have found him too, only his name is Pavoni. Okay, I hear you. Well now, Miss Kowalczyk. So, you know my name, huh? I never did believe in random checks at the airport. You got no right to hold me like this. I can assure you that the rights of tattooed Americans are not being infringed on here. I am Agent Aikida, and... Of... Excuse me? Are you sure ain't CBP? So who are you an agent of? Don't get in her face too much yet. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Of course. I work in an interdepartmental task force out of Quantico. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? And don't let her fool you now. She's a lot smarter than the badge lets on. I'd like to ask you some questions concerning your movements in the last year. Sure. I mean, if I can help with anything. Now, this trip to New York four months ago, can you tell me about that? Sure. I was there to meet up with my boss, Conrad Paulson. We're security consultants. He's the one who sent me to Europe, too. It was kind of screwy, to be honest. We'll talk about Europe in a bit, but how do you mean, screwy? See, there's this guy, or I guess most people would call him a myth, Redmond. Hmm. Redmond. Now there's a name. Ah, see? The power of branding. The boss has some wild hair up his ass about the guy, so he sent me to find him. Colorfully put. So tell me then, did you find this... Redmond? Yeah, I think I might have. I don't know if I should talk about it, though, I mean, other than with my boss. Well, that is a shame. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to hand this over to those Homeland Security boys. Oh, they're such pests, you know. What? Are you kidding me? I almost believe you myself. Keep going. <sighs> so, I met with the boss in New York for a conference. You know, massages, hot tub meetings with clients, open bar networking.
This is going to suck. There you are, Celia. Shall we? <sighs> Time to face the music. Hey there. Conrad Paulson, my mentor. I think he's gonna flunk me today. Sorry, not Conrad. Redmond. A thief is a brand, Celia. And brands hold power. Let's talk inside. I've been meaning to see this exhibition for months. A collector I know consulted on it. It's pretty incredible how much Vegas has changed in just under a century. Anyway, the buyer has been calling me every two hours since yesterday. How did the job go? It's a funny story, actually. Funny, yeah. About a half a million dollars worth of funny, I hope. Let's take this from the beginning. I did a bit of research on our charming Mark. Bogdan Losev, also known as the Moose. Former Russian mob, currently a law-abiding businessman and a collector of vintage motorcycles and cars. He's gone legit for real, apparently. Lives in the Hollywood Hills in a tasteful little stilt house where he was throwing a party. The good news is that getting in was a breeze. When I arrived at the villa, the gate was open, but one of Bogdan's goons was blocking the way. I gather getting past him wasn't a problem? Nah, piece of cake. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? You trying to sneak in, hoodie girl? Bogdan called me. I'm here on business. Go on in, then. You just waltzed by him, just like that. Just like that. Well, maybe you should mentor me. Hey. What? Come on, we have to check the bike. Oh, shit, man. All right, I'm coming. There was a huge crowd at the entrance, and I wasn't dressed for a party, so I chose another way in. Oh, crap. The piece of shit door is stuck again. The rail's bent, I'm telling you. Who cares? It's not like someone's gonna sneak in here. I'll stay by the cars anyway. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go check the bike. Mm-hmm. Nice of that door to get stuck like that. The elevator was locked. We may want to make another run at Bogdan later and boost a couple of his cars.
We may want to make another run at Bogdan later, and boost a couple of his cars. One of the goons had the bike key, so I had to pick his pocket. The workshop door was locked, but I could have picked that lock with a piece of wire. was, so I hopped on the bike, and damn. I'm really supposed to believe that? Yeah, that's how it went down, but... I did have someone keep an eye on the house when you went in, you know. <laughs> Should have known. So, busted, I guess. Yep. Let's start from the beginning, and give the truth a go this time. I went to Case Bogdan's place during the day. I needed to figure out a way into the house. Borrowing a catering uniform or pool service clothes was one choice. Where do you think you're going, man? Uh, the overalls might give you a hint. Oh, right. You came for the pool. Ding, ding, ding! Hey, look at that. We have a winner. Uh, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out it's just me on the low sub job. Marsha couldn't make it. No, nothing like that. It was uh, probably just some bad burritos. There was a pool company van in the yard. She shows up. I can handle this. All right, bye. The garage was empty, so I could explore it at my leisure. It was likely a place for the bike in the evening. Bogdan had a workshop at the back of the garage. It was a safe bet the bike would be there in the evening. Bogdan had an elevator, in case he didn't want to drag his ass down a couple of sets of stairs. No way I could use it during the day without someone noticing. There he was, the man of the house. Oh yeah, he's a lovely character.
I slipped into the pool company overalls. It gave me free roam of the downstairs. Just had to avoid the pool boss man. Ugh, what pool company uses overalls anyway? Wait. How are you? And why are you wearing our overalls? slipped into the pool company overalls. It gave me free roam of the downstairs. Just had to avoid the pool boss man. Ugh, what pool company uses overalls anyway? There he was. The man of the house. Oh yeah, he's a lovely character. Bogdan was overseeing the preparations for the night, not suspecting anyone was following or eavesdropping on him. Look, I'm only doing this only because of those insurance company assholes. I... No, I'll need it installed before the evening. The house will be full of people. I want the new system. You deliver the new system, I pay. What is so difficult? Okay, look. Here's what we do. You email me the manual, and I'll go through it today. All good, yes? Good. The alarm manual was in Bogdan's office. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? One of the biker guys tried to look casual, but he was clearly keeping an eye on the hired help. He was Bogdan's bodyguard, security chief, or whatever. Wait, who the hell are you, and why are you wearing our overalls? Security! 
Got all the info I needed, so it was time to slip out. Not bad so far. So, as a local, I'm sure you heard about the $500,000 motorcycle being stolen in May. What bike? That was my hot yoga month. I was too pooped to even watch the news. It was like boot camp, but you should try it. It really... Moving on, then. I went home to dress up for party and larceny. When I got back, I could hear the party half a mile away. The house and the pool were full of party people. Good evening, Mr. Osipenko, and welcome. Now, I'll wait here. Uh, hold up, lady. This is a private party. Do you have an invitation, please? There was no getting in without an invitation. The catering boss looked real tightly wound and harried. I managed to slip in through the staff entrance. Fire alarms. Break glass for a good distraction at the right moment. Fire alarms. Break glass for a good distraction at the right moment. The elevator was locked. <sighs> Pick up, damn you! Hey, are you okay? What's wrong? My goddamn boyfriend should be here, but he's not answering his phone. What's he look like? Well, he's like six feet, blonde hair, beard. Last I saw him, he had his purple shirt on. <laughs> he was supposed to be here like a half an hour ago. Oh, okay. I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. 
Thanks. Welcome to my humble abode. Eat, drink, enjoy! Hey, Mr. Losev. It's awesome that you support street art. What? What are you talking about? That graffiti artist next to your gate. Painting. What? Gears! Go deal with it! Right you are, boss. And just like that, Ogden's shadow was gone. I have plenty. Do not be shy. Fire alarms. Break glass for a good distraction at the right moment. The guard at the stairs. Sorry, ma'am. The upstairs bar is for VIP guests only. There was no way upstairs as long as that guy was in the way, so I had to come up with a distraction. The elevator was locked. The painting of a fat cat on the wall was a bit too on the nose. Ogden seemed to like 70s porn film decor. for my friend. I lifted Bogdan's keychain, which gave me free run of the place, including the elevator. Before I went downstairs, I had to deal with the alarm situation. Ah. Fire alarms. Break glass for a good distraction at the right moment. woman was looking impatient and annoyed, scanning the crowds. A gin and tonic would have hit the spot, but I resisted the temptation. Bogdan may have gone legit, but he's not fooling anyone. Loud and crass, with delusions of good taste. Another bottle for everyone! <laughs> Fire alarms, break glass for a good once. distraction at the, the right IP moment. Only. Before I went downstairs, I had to deal with the alarm situation. Hi again. Any luck finding your boyfriend? No, and he's still not answering his cell. I'm starting to get worried. Wait, I saw a guy like that go up to the VIP bar. He was with a woman, groping her ass. Eh, real classy. What? Oh, he's dead. He's so fucking dead. Stop. Come here. Fire alarms. Break glass for a good distraction at the right moment. Before I went downstairs, I had to deal with the alarm situation.
Bogdan's goons had taken over the small utilities room. The decor included a big-ass fuse box. Whoa! I almost overdid the blowing the fuse part, but that elevator wasn't going anywhere. The elevator fuse was blown. With Bogdan's keys, it was easy to slip into his office, looking like I had legit business in there. I got in and went quickly through Bogdan's computer. Found the manual for the alarm, but unfortunately there was no handy email with a code for it. I got the alarm's model from the manual, though, so I decided to call someone who could help. What's up, C? I'm kinda in the middle of something, so make it quick. I need to get past a house alarm without the proper tools. It's an IGS-446B. Ooh, sounds like you're up Shit's Creek. Except you could try the duress code. What's that? You punch it in, and the alarm looks like it shuts down. But actually, it sends out a silent alarm to external security. No noise at this end, and I get a few moments before the security arrives? Exactly. The duress code for the 446 series is 2580. Shit, got a dash. Good luck! Problem solved. I can make it out before Bogdan's security outfit arrived. door was actually broken, so that part was true. There I was, inside the garage. Punching the duress code into the alarm system would give me plenty of time to get the bike out. What? Oh, for... And that was when I found out the bike wasn't in the workshop, and the alarm was beeping for a code. Phew. The duress code worked, but the silent alarm was out. I had a moment to figure out where the bike was. The fuse was blown, and the elevator wasn't going anywhere.
The house and the pool were full of party people. People were partying hard, some harder than others. People were partying hard, some harder than others. Having found my way into the party, I didn't want to bother the doorman anymore. You've got to be shitting me. I came up to find Bogdan on the bike, revving the engine and hollering like an idiot. What? On a half a million dollar collector bike? I know. I had to think fast. Oh, hell. The security would arrive any minute. I had to boost the bike literally from under Bogdan. Just the exhaust. See? <laughs> Come back, you idiots! Somebody turn that off! <laughs> Settle down, there's no damn fire! It was just the exhaust. See? <laughs> So the good news is that I got the bike out pretty much intact, but smooth and quiet it wasn't. I tore through a damn pool party. Well, it wasn't as bad as I expected. Gee, thanks for the high praise. Except the bike may have lost some value because you rode it. In my defense, Bogdan started it. I just rode it out. Also, Bogdan and his Russian mobster buddies are turning over every rock trying to find you. Uh, what? Well, not you, you. Just a woman whose description happens to match you. As far as I know, they don't have your name. That said, it would be best to keep a low profile for a while. Preferably, you know, somewhere far away. Somewhere far away? Oh, what does that mean? Yeah, how does Italy sound? My friend Damiano Altamura runs a team you'd fit right into. Young, professional thieves starting their career. Hey, few months in the sun and all this will blow over. But what about Leroy if they're looking for me? Your son is going to be fine. I guarantee it. The people in these circles don't even know he exists. But I can have someone keep an eye on him. You know, just in case. So, what do you say? Come on, your flight leaves in four hours. This is Italy. I wonder where the... Signorina Kowalczyk. Uh, we're doing the cheek kissing thing? Oh, uh, scusi. Oh, damn. Sorry. Yes, I'm Celia. I am Damiano Altamura. How nice to finally meet you. Redmond has told me so much about you. I trust you had a good flight? Uh, yes. Oh, hello. You're 
You're Damiano, right? Uh, great to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian. You don't speak Italian? <laughs> this is something of a surprise. Yes. I mean, no, I, I don't. Um, is it a problem? Do not worry about it. We will make do. I am sorry your first glimpse of Turin is so brief, but we will be returning here soon. Where are we going? We're heading to Tirano, a nice town in the northern Italy. The rest of the team is casing the town's railway station. You're needed to finish the job. No advance planning? That sounds like a fun challenge. I do not doubt it. The rest of the team is very eager to meet you. Welcome to Tirano. First thing first, here's your earbud and radio. So, what next? We're here to case the railway station and to check the safe upstairs. There is a staff elevator at the end of the platform. We need a staff key card to access it. The team is waiting for you, and we'll talk you through it. Do get to know the station area and observe the people. Hey, Mr. Altamora. Please, call me Damiano. Oh, all right. Uh, anyway. What now? We need to procure an employee key card for the elevator. Scout out the area and find the rest of our team. Can you help me somehow? I can run distraction, the social kind. I have a certain kind of manner and gravitas, so people tend to listen to me. Bye. Sorry. Uh, let's continue later. All right. Right, so what am I supposed to... Yo! Welcome on board! Jesus, all right. Uh, who am I talking to? It's Chip, yeah? I'll be your guy today. Head in, I'll link you up with the next guy. Chip is our computer and electronics expert. Eyes up, blood. Go down the platform, snap photos of the security cameras, and send them to me. Hey, over here. Yes, and you're that new American. We need an employee key card for the elevator. I think the guard with the orange vest has one. I want to see what you can do. Distract them for me, or figure out something else. Okay, I'll have a look around. Other staff members may also have a card, so keep an eye out. Look out for the cameras. There is a pickpocket problem here. The guards are extra alert. Going there now. Here and ready. Another espresso, please. All right. Hello. Yes. Excuse me. Waiting What's for the your time? signal. Ah, uh, miss. 
There is a clock over the timetable there. Oh, yes, so there is. Thank you. No good enough. Waiting for... S Hello. Yes? Uh, I was wondering, when does the next train to uh, Milan leave? Let me pop in there real quick. Sure. Give me an espresso. Going there. Waiting for signal. Another espresso, right. please. Got it. Hmm. Not bad. <sighs> Want me to make you a coffee, boss? Nah. I like the ones from the coffee stand there. Hey, Andrew, how are we with the pickpockets? I caught two yesterday. They're starting to learn the camera blind spots. Damn things. We need better cameras. These old pieces of shit are useless. Yeah, who the hell uses tapes anymore? There's a camera here. Got it. Going there. Tell me then. Okay. I have the key card. Now I'll just have to sneak in unnoticed. I have the key card. Now I'll just have to sneak in unnoticed. I'm upstairs. Now what? Sonia, our safe cracker, is waiting outside by the window. Let her in. Hurry the hell up! I've been here for an hour pretending to paint the roof. Someone's gonna notice soon. Oh, there's a safe in the back room I have to check out. I'm not made for this sneaking shit. Just clear away for me to the back room. And check for security devices upstairs, cameras and such, yeah? There's a security system keypad at the elevator lobby. Check if you can spot any sensors as such. That was a foul. What's the situation? It's a tie. The 2-2. Two -two. Hey, Chip. There's motion sensors here. Looks like old passive infrared models. Ooh, nice. You know your stuff. Sonia behind the window. Well then, can you see yourself clearing the way for me? The TV is blaring. There's a soccer game, I think. Hmm. I wonder who is playing. No! But the goddamn TV finally quit. What the hell is wrong with it? Leave it alone. You'll kill yourself, you idiot. I got a damn. And there was a ten minutes left. <sighs> Might as well head back to work. Come on. The coast is clear. Finally. Leon.
right. Let me see. Oh, Whitaker Grumman 313. Piece of cake. We need to make sure we can open it. Wanna have a go? You'll need to be quick. Not now. We're in too much of a hurry. Well, that was underwhelming. I'll do it. Okay, that's it. We have all that we need. I'll see myself out through the window. Well done, everybody. Come back, Alcilia. I will wait for you by the gate. Better take the elevator down. You jumping out of the... have noticed a key card is missing. Do not panic or run, Celia. <clears throat> Damn, they're on the lookout for me. Must have noticed a key card is missing. Do not panic or run, Celia. Lose yourself in the crowds and head outside. Look out for the cameras. I'm not panicking. I've got this. I can see you, Celia. Hurry, get into the car. Welcome to Casa Altamura, your home away from home in Turin. Oh shit, that is gorgeous. <laughs> what a wonderful way to put it, Miss Kowalczyk. It is a home to me, my housekeeper and gardener, and whatever associates I have in any given moment. Is this like your family villa? After a fashion, though I did not have that kind of a family. But here we are. Let us go and meet the others. Here she is, finally. You met in the field, but let's make proper introductions. This is Celia, our cat burglar and social engineer. This is Chip, our hacker and forger. Hey, blood! Welcome to Italy, eh? Hope you don't mind running with some deep crims like me and... Oh, put a lid on it, Corbin. Oi, it's Chip. Thank you very much. Just shut up, will you? In any case, this is Sonia, our wills and safecracker. Whoop-de-doo. Hello, Miss Master Thief. Welcome to Turin. Hope you're as good as they say you are. And this is Anje, our muscle and pickpocket. So that is the team you will be working with. The gardener took your things up to the loft. Welcome to Università di Altamura, Celia.
we need to go through what we learned today. But first, let's bring Celia up to speed. This job is a commission, and we will be paid 400,000 euros upon completion. A company called Seidler Catch is transporting valuable cargo to Switzerland on the Alpine Express train. It is an equipment case, the size of a briefcase, containing a fragile device. It will be stored overnight in the Tirano railway station safe. This is a two-man job. Celia will lead the intrusion. We will choose the other team member later. Everything clear so far? So, what did we learn about the security? Chip? Dank. Total rubbish. Celia spotted us some cameras. The coverage is a bit sparse, innit? Pretty sure there should be more. As for the upstairs, Celia? There are old IR sensors and a keypad next to the elevators. Can't we just turn the alarm off? Can't you hack it or something? Nah, the thing's practically analog. You need to enter the code with the keypad to turn it off. We need a code then, or to sneak past the detectors. If it's just passive IR, we can mask my body heat and I can just walk past them. You can do that with a pane of glass, but I'm not lugging one with me. Thing is, if you wear a space, space blanket, yeah, I was just going there. Damn, Redmond really taught you something. Just wear a space blanket and vent the body heat somewhere the IR won't see. Sounds nuts, but if you both say so. Any input here, Damiano? I have a question for all of you. What is the easiest way to get through a locked door? Celia? Well, I would pick the lock. Ditto. Or drill it. What if it's one of those super secure locks? I would just blow it up. Too much noise. Pick the lock or drill it. Oh dear. I'm happy we had this conversation before heading out. The easiest way to open a locked door is to pressure the person who has the key. What's this have to do with the alarm code? Oh, right. So, who are we gonna lean on? The person with the key, or the alarm code in this case, is the station master Erasmuniki. Correctly persuaded, he can even call the station for us and thin out the security. So, do we have any leverage on this Mr. Nietzsche? Therein lies the trouble. He lives for, for lack of a better word, a very dull life. No vices, no family, nothing like that. I don't see the problem. Let's slap him around and threaten to come back. Simple. I like it. Hmm. I might have an idea. Where does he live? Mr. Nicky lives alone in a house of his own south of the river. It is a quiet neighborhood, even by Tirano standards. Good. We can work without interruptions. Uh, Blood, the way you say work makes me worried. Do we have any more intel on the guy? Intel? <laughs> Are we in Fallujah? Mr. Nicky is in his 50s, lives alone, and seems to be a very ordinary kind of man. Hmm, can we make up some blackmail material? Chip? How about you dig up some sick shit from the net and hack it to his computer? My idea exactly! Except why hack? Can't you just break in and copy the stuff on his computer? That's... pretty elegant, actually. I mean, we need to break in there in any case to have a little chat. Too complicated. I agree, let's just slap him around. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Breaking and entering, plus an assault it is. I have to say I am disappointed. Sans arms, ni ains, ni violence. Do you know what that means, and who said it? I still don't speak Italian. It's French. Without weapons, nor hatred, nor violence. Written on the wall of a vault by Albert Spiaggiari, as they had a picnic lunch of wine and pâté in the middle of the break-in. Since I'm the boss here, I demand you to try a peaceful solution first. Then, do what you must. Before Celia chooses who goes with her, 
Are there any more questions? What can we do about the camera surveillance? Pop into the security center and snatch the tapes? That's it? That's it. What about the human component? Are there gonna be guards in the station? According to my local contacts, ordinarily, no. A patrol will visit a place a couple of times per night. However, the company may have insisted on additional security for this occasion. So we'll see when we'll see. Gotcha. How do we crack the safe? Sonia, should I clear the way for you, or what? <laughs> I ain't no ninja. I'll just leave the sneaking around in a tinfoil tunic to you. You will have to do it sooner or later, Sonia. I'll go with later, thanks. The box is dirt simple. The master thief there can handle it. I can be on standby if not. I think that's the gist of it. As for who to take with me, it's hard to say, since I don't really know you. A good point. We have some time, so feel free to settle down. Get back to me before evening. Ah, Celia. How can I help? So, about these guys. Yes. Who is it that has you curious? The lad from London. Chip, yes. He certainly has his way with words. Though, most of them are foreign to me. Am I going to have to lock my door at night here? Oh, no. no. He may seem a little much, but underneath... He's a boy to take home to mom. Really? Him? There is much more than meets the eye there. Don't be too cruel with him. Okay. No guarantees, though. He doesn't behave himself. What's the deal with Sonia? She has been the only American here. And in this team, the only woman. What? I make her less unique or something? It's not that. But in this world of men, she has learned to advance through confrontation. I did detect just a hint of attitude. With Sonia, it's better to bow than to break. All right, then. The short and silent one. Ah, yes, Sanjay. He's not what he called chatty, but he's very much a professional. Muscle and pickpocket, though? Unusual combination. Well, admittedly so, but a natural one for him. How do you mean? He might speak of it with you sometime. Also, he likes a certain firmness in people he deals with. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Redmond didn't tell me too much about you, Damiano. Just that you're a friend. And it is an honor. Well, yeah, but... Who exactly are you, and what is it you do here? Huh, straight to the point, yes? But allow me to tell you about the Universidad di Altamura first. Okay. In this business, the young are easily taken advantage of. I give them a fair chance, and an education. So what do you do? Safes? Oh, no, no. My talents are far more general than that. I know the trade, and how to survive in it, even flourish. And all out of the goodness of your heart? Mm, in so many words, yes. Also, the villa does need a little more work. <laughs> You're an odd one, Mr. Altamora, but I think I like you. So, about casing the Tirana station. What was that all about? It felt almost like I was set up to fail. Ah, there was nothing sinister behind that. The others just wanted to see how good you are. Are they afraid that I'll steal their thunder or something? Well, you've been working with a very high-profile team before this. Here, it is not very common. The people in my teams can be from very humble backgrounds. Hmm, right. Makes sense, I guess. 
I guess the local police isn't too bothered by you running this school. It is a testament to the discretion of the ones I choose to join us here. Just that? There's also a tradition of respecting villas such as this, and understanding of privacy. And? And the chief does appreciate the black label Iberico ham I present him with every now and then. Ha! <laughs> Knew it. Remind me, what was the plan again? We shall go to the station master's house, insert scandalous material on his computer, and persuade him. He will give us the safe combination and call the station to clear away some security. You can then, with relative ease, sneak inside the station and retrieve the case. Sounds simple, when you put it like that. I'll get back to you. Please do, Celia. Is this a painting of Turin? Oh, yes. So you are... Hi, Celia. So you work for the legend, the man himself. What's it like? Working with Redmond? Nah, the Pope. Of course, Redmond. It's pretty intense. You get to do so many things, surrounded by professionals. You end up learning fast, or you flunk out. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Sick! Does everyone in the UK sound like you now? Nah, it's just us man hoodies and rude boys trying to be current. I think I'm gonna have to repeat Damiano here and ask you to stick with English. No problem. I guess I can lay it on thick, like. But yeah, it's what you hear around London now. You're from London, then? Nah, from the conch. But London's where I got wise. Are you a passes for gangsta in your neck of the woods? What you saying? Playing around with computers, wearing a grandpa hat. Grandpa hat? These are the freshest garms, swear down. I'll take your word for it. The ones I can understand, at least. Oh, you tested me now! Okay, if you want to play like that... <laughs> Uh-oh. So, your job here is to, um, hack the mainframe? <laughs> Rah! Love cannot believe you just said that. It was a joke, come on. Whew! Wouldn't want to think a buff thing like you was all dry. Excuse me? I mean, you leave the bad jokes to me and stay lush. I think I can do that. I guess you're not burning up to join me in the field, though. Not when the field is outside the van. You want Sonia or Hanje for that. Are you flirting with me? Is that what this is about? You're well paying, but you're used to a little ting sing. Really? There's leagues here, and I don't think we're in the same one. Oh, so I'm just the next man. It's okay. You just need a moment to appreciate the chip. I'll appreciate you showing me some of those computer skills out in the field. How's it been working here with Altamura, I mean? Bossman's a bit weird, isn't it? But he knows his stuff. What do you mean, weird? He's living in the 40s, or maybe the 1840s. So, Sonia, not the most patient person, is she? Hell no! She's been riding my ass right from minute one. But apart from that, I guess I trust her on the field, yeah. That Hanje guy doesn't come across as very hospitable. <laughs> yeah, the man is intense. Hell of a pickpocket, isn't it? Bit small to be the muscle, though. I'll give you a hundred pounds if you go and say that to his face. I'll pass. Not that we need muscle much. All tomorrow is all about non-violence and shit. 
Catch you later. Safe. Is this a practice lock? Yeah, I rebuild it now and then. Good for finger practice. Can I have a go? Sure, just tell me if you need help. I could use a bit of practice. Sure. You got it? Wow! Is this your practice safe? Yeah. Want to have a go? Sure. All right, let's see. Okay, now listen for short silences while gently rotating to find the right spot. Hi, oh, you got it. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's see, how you settling in? Hey, yourself. Everything's cool, by and large. How's the team? Well, it's different from what I'm used to with you, but I'll manage. The boss is a bit of a weird one, though. I don't know. Let me tell you a story, C. I love story time. Shush. Now. Years back, I met this guy, Walker. He looked like he just got off a stagecoach. And when he told us he had a plan for a big score, me and James were skeptical, to say the least. I mean, this plan was wild. Nothing about it was by the book. It was a goddamn work of art. So, I guess it worked? And you're damn right it worked. And so did the half dozen that followed. And after that? He retired, we moved on. I can tell you more about it some other time. Anyway, what I'm saying is, you have to look deeper. Altamura is solid. I wouldn't deal with him otherwise. Okay. Hmm. Cool. If it ain't Miss Master Thief, something I can do for you? So, locks and cars are your thing, huh? <laughs> yep. And sometimes locks in cars. That's how I met Redmond. Really. Try to boost his ride. Seriously? <laughs> it's hilarious. So, are the stories true? How do you mean? What stories? Are you shitting me? I mean, has he really done all those heists? And just between you and me? Yeah, almost all of them. God damn. This station job, any thoughts? Well, Damiano can kind of overthink things sometimes. You mean he doesn't like brute force? <laughs> Call it what you like. More moving parts means more ways to mess up. I'll do my part not to. Hope to see the same from you. Our muscle seems to be a regular ray of sunshine. Tell me about it. I made an innocent crack about something, and he damn near bit my face off. Thanks for the warning. So, where's he actually from? He's from Korea. The not batshit crazy one. Takes his nationality quite seriously, among other things. We're the only two Americans here, then? That's us. I got roots in Italy, though. I've never been this far away from home before. Yeah? You got someone waiting for you back there? 
Yes, kinda. Right. <laughs> well, I'm flying solo, but I got my big weird family back in Texas. Weird? Okay, so maybe they ain't weird. Except for my Uncle Senso, maybe. But I mean, <laughs> I was raised by a whole damn village. Oh, okay. Kinda jealous. Haven't really had a community before. Well, before I got into crime, really. Welcome to the family. What's up with that chip guy? He's a bit... much. Mr. Corbin Tavistock lives his one-man chip show. Is that his real name? Seriously? Yeah. You really want to smack him so often, but the guy knows his stuff. So, worth tolerating. So far, yeah. Seriously, though, what's your history, job-wise? That chip guy said something about racing? I've cracked a couple of safes and opened a whole lot of doors. Been a getaway driver a couple of times, stuff like that. I'll get back to you later. Ah, Celia. How can I help? All right. I'm ready to go. You have settled down and talk with everyone you want to? Well then, everyone, please come gather up. I now know who I need to help me. With a station master, I need muscle, just in case. With a station heist... It might get physical. So I could use Hanje there as well. Right. I'll get ready. Very good. Hanje will assist you at both locations. I suggest you all have an early night. We will go through the gear in the morning and pack the van. You coming with tomorrow? I will see you to coordinate. Chip will patch me in on your radio. But now, time to rest. This is one dead, small-town suburb. Bet everyone here knows their neighbors. Then there's us. A bunch of foreigners in a free candy van. Just seeing the sights, officer. Better get moving, yeah? Just find the guy's computer, copy the USB stick in there, and wake the codger up. I still think we should just kick in the door. That would make things simpler. No, we will do this the most civilized way possible.
Oh, damn, this floor is creaky. Have to tread lightly. That old man won't hit anything. Wait, there is a dog. A small, yappy one. Shit, it may hear me. There's an old engineer's uniform here. There's an old engineer's uniform here. Okay, I'll copy the... Shit, the computer won't turn on. Can you try? I'm not gonna troubleshoot his computer. That's it. I'm coming in. No, wait at the door. I'm going to scout around for plan B. Hanjay, get ready. Ring the doorbell and I'll box him in. Wait for my signal. I'm ready. What? Who are you? Get out of my house! Shut up and listen to me. Tell us the alarm code to the station and the combination of the safe upstairs. Why would I do any such thing? Because we ask nicely? This can go the other way as well, you know. What? You come into my house to threaten me? Get out! Get the hell out! The hell with this. Talking is not working. Tell us the station alarm code and the safe combination. Now. For fuck's sake, Hanjay, you knocked him out cold. And he got your mask. He didn't see anything. He's still alive. Well, it's not like we'll get anything out of him, will we? We talked about this, Hanjay. Come back. We'll have to manage without the information. You know, when you sit at the park sometimes, just enjoying the moment, having a bite to eat? Lady, you're no Elliot Ness, are you? <laughs> Mr. Ness was actually an agent of the Bureau of Prohibition, though admittedly it was a part of the Bureau of Investigation for a while, and... Was he a personal friend? An old flame, perhaps? Afraid I never met the man. But I did help curate some items of his for the upcoming National Crime Museum. Before we get completely sidetracked, though, the point I wanted to make was that sometimes small things add up to something bigger. In this case, we start with a couple of strange characters showing up at a Toronto station master's door one night. What happened? They beat the poor man up. Gave him a concussion. Which is no laughing matter at his age. He did manage to unmask one of the attackers while trying to defend himself. So how about you tell me if this face rings a bell, hmm? That could be an ex of mine. I had terrible taste back in high school. All the wrong kind of guys. Mook Hanje, a South Korean national who has been interviewed by the Italian police on a couple of occasions in the past. Granted, they can't tell a Korean from a Filipino over there, but this one seems like a solid pick. Could be he was involved in the station break-in the next day, too. Oh, that station. Now, I did hear about that.
Cecilia, you are on. Figure out the best way to enter the upstairs office. I'll help you in. If you're going to mess up, you're on your own. Had you not fucked up with the station master, this would be so much easier. I fucked it up? Remind me, who was it that beat the shit out of the geezer? Okay, can we do anything about the cameras? Not from here. In the guard shack, maybe. An educated guess. This junction box is where the lights get their juice. Looks sturdy enough. Going there now. Looks like the electric junction for the lights. Looks like the carousel controls are locked. R guess I don't want the kids messing with it. I'm on it. Carousel. On the move. Here and ready. Uh huh. huh? Looks sturdy enough. There. That's a bit easier to cross now. Looks like the electric junction for the lights. That construction light covers the whole alley. I think I can disconnect it. <clears throat> um, sounds like you're running? Nope. Looks like the electric junction for the lights.
turning off the construction light up here. That should simplify things. Okay, got into the terminal through the side door. Look out for the cameras. I'm a tad bit worried you missed some, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's hope I didn't. That thing from earlier still bugs me. What thing? That chica who slipped into the elevator. Oh, that one? Ah, eh, damn pickpockets and junkies. I've been thinking. Maybe she was a case in the place. Nah, well, with the night and day shift around, she won't get far.
This damn space cloak better work. It would be way too embarrassing to get caught wearing this. It better, since you couldn't get those codes. Oh, for the love of... The alarms are off. Wait, there's someone here. I'm gonna go have a look. That is unexpected. Be careful, Celia. Well, hello there. Ah! There's a guy here! A boy. Or so what's going on? We have a visitor here. Stay sharp. There's a guy here! Abort! Get out of there! Or so what? No way out but to jump through that window. Stay sharp. The big guy is stalking me. Well, hello there. Ah! There's a guy here! Abort! Get out of there. Orso, what's going on? We have a visitor here. Stay sharp. Orso, she's here. Don't make a mess. Seriously. Here she is. Orso, she's here. I'm gonna make you bleed for making me run. I'm gonna make you bleed for making me run. Here she is. Orso, she's here. Here she is. <laughs> End of the line, bitch. There you are. Orso, she's here! No way out but to jump through that window. There you are. <laughs> well, hello there. Ah! There's a guy here! Abort! Get out of there. Orso, what's going on? Guy is stalking me. Don't make a mess. Seriously, the big guy is stalking me. Here she is. Orso, she's here. Here she is. There. The others must have turned off the alarm. Orso, she's here. Here she is. No way out but to jump through that window. Orso, she's here! Here she is! No way out but to jump through that window. I'm gonna make you... Celia, are you okay? What is happening up there? I got out. I dove through a window and... Shit, the psycho's here! What? Jesus. Get out of there! There you are. The big guy is stalking me. Orso, she's here! Where did you go? <laughs> End of the line, bitch! There you are. Stalking me. Oh, come here. I just want to talk. Come now, little rabbit.
stalking me. Come here. You shouldn't have run. There are you. Enough skulking around. Come here. Run. Well, that has to be the most excitement this station has seen in ages. What do you think happened there, as a security consultant? I can't really speculate on that. It'd just be guesswork. Well, let's just take it from the beginning, then. See if that helps. Oh, God. Earlier that day, a tourist was spotted exiting an employee elevator at the station. Those things do need an employee keycard to operate. One of which was stolen by a pickpocket that very day, wouldn't you know? Funny, as they usually just focus on wallets and the like. According to this, she was a young woman in a hoodie, fit, wearing dark makeup. That same woman was also chased around by the station guards. We have her on video, actually. What? So, how do you like that story, hmm? No comment. Are we there already? And we haven't even left the station yet. <laughs> 